23-year-old is preparing to end her life under South Australia's voluntary assisted dying laws. Monique Vander Hayden joins us live from Adelaide. Monique, what has led this young woman to make this difficult decision? Danica, today here at the Flinders Medical Centre, Lily Tai will end her life. The 23-year-old will be using South Australia's voluntary assisted dying program after spending most of her young life in excruciating pain. At 17, she was diagnosed with a genetic disorder known as Ellis-Danlos syndrome, which meant over time she lost her ability to walk, to use her bowels and couldn't even eat or drink without becoming sick. Years later, she was also diagnosed with an autoimmune disease known as autoimmune autonomic ganglionopathy and was told that her organs were beginning to fail. The Voluntary Assisted Dying Act did pass here in South Australia back in June 2021, but only came into effect in January this year. Lily told the Advertiser newspaper that she made the decision to end her life earlier this year, she said, I decided that the pain was so severe it wasn't worth it and I just wanted to take it into my own hands. Lily admits that this was a decision that was not easy to make, especially for her mother. This says both of her parents have respected her decision and both don't want to see her suffer through any more pain. She has spent her final days here at Flinders Medical Centre, where just last week she signed the final consent forms. Today, she will be surrounded by her closest friends and family to say goodbye, and then she will finally find peace. Danica.